Okay, it's assembled and on, along with the shaft. Now, if you look, you'll be able to see how much I took off there. Let's go around the other side. That's how much I took off. Now, I actually took quite a bit off on this end down here because you can see that right there, that tab on the main cap. But I took quite a bit off. So, uh, now, There you go. Uh. Huh? 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, that is perfect. So, uh, there you go, guys. If you ever have an issue, and it's with your oil pump, you put a brand new one on there. Uh, that's gonna be the back side of the pump right here on the bearing you need to take and well damn cigar uh, work it over I might look how much space is in here and I got a little pinch point right there I know when I put the gasket on there I get to sit rear seal it but I'm ready I want to get it turned over yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to finish the. Uh, see, that'll go down too good. It worked. Every bit of it worked. Great. Because that gasket's got to pull up some. I love them rubber gaskets, by the way. They're great. Yeah, they are. Where's the fan? Oh, well, valve cover. These are great. They, and then mash that little bugger down. That's about how much that. Uh, it'll pull up into that cover right there so uh, I'm ready to do it to it now I'll be able to flip my motor over and uh, put the lifters in put the uh, push rods put the push rods in for lifters uh, we'll put the guide, lifter guides in and then put the push rods in put the head on and uh from there, but check it out. See, uh, last night I filled the cylinder, I put all that halfway where all the cylinders were halfway. Uh, pistons of the cylinders, halfway of the cylinders, and then I put oil in there and I filled it up above a uh, good eighth inch above the piston heads. You look down there, you can see where it leaks out a little bit. That's where it just slowly goes around each one of them uh, gaps. Yeah ring gaps and works its way down and then when I do it tomorrow I'm gonna let it set tonight I'm gonna put the pan gasket and everything on it get the bottom done flip it over bring them all up to halfway and then fill the cylinder heads up on the top and let it seep down into the motor okay uh, it, that helps by all of them little crosshairs that have oil on it and then my rings that have oil on it that'd be fine and when I get ready to put the head on I'll just suck all the oil out with a nifty little tool where is that my little nifty little tool here it works great I used to use that to put oil in the generator believe it or not it's a lot easier you ever try to put a funnel on one of them damn things and then actually be correct without flooding it Oil, virtually impossible. But uh, I'm good. I'm I'm happy with all that right there now. So it's uh, clean all this off really well. Put the gasket on there, which is this big fan board right here. Put this on there, and then cut my little tips. I need to cut those right there. Clean those off. Get on there. Oh, I got it on the wiper. So it's right down. Alright. Now 
Karena oh, Karena Nah this on the oil fan to be easier stick it to the oil fan and go down on the block because I can put all the bolts in the oil pan and align that gasket perfectly and then it stick it to work another thing and I think I'm going to cut those little tabs right there and just put uh, the sealant RTV in there Marvelous, marvelous. Oh no, why not have to? That's perfect. So I'll just take and cut those right there. <laughs> you didn't see all that. <laughs> but what I was saying is uh I'll take and I'll cut that right there and then I'll cut that right there. You get it I get the line holes lined up on it and you'll see how much you have to cut. See? So I'll actually cut it back to right there and then I'll cover it with some RTV and then same here these tabs have to be cut so that that'll make perfectly Let's see like so and then when I get this glued to the pan uh, I'll run RTV around this right here too all the way around it uh, I'm not going to do this part unless I can't get it to seal and then I'll put some in there, but I really don't want to put RTV glue on the block. Very happy. Y'all enjoy, and the process is carrying on. Peace. By the way, uh, 1999 saved me a lot of headache, plus 499 for the uh, pads. So I was about to go insane. I was thinking, new oil pan. New pump or something. I had to do something, but why? You know, I ripped that sucker right off. I put a had a tape piece of tape run all the way across the bottom, cover the holes up, and a perfect edge for me to cut down to. Worked great. Enjoy. Peace. Nanny, nanny, shout about and all that other good shit. Bye.